Yo, it's your boy, Smoke with the Mad Video. Today's video, we're going to be rebuilding the Los Angeles Rams. Now, we have done quite a few rebuilds in Madden 25, and there's a playlist below. If you guys are interested, we have done the Miami Dolphins with Tua's injury. We have done the Detroit Lions. So, if you guys are interested in that, let's go ahead and, go ahead and give them a watch. But, we are rebuilding the Los Angeles Rams in this one, and they kind of need it. Now, they did just win a Super Bowl not too long ago, but... They are suffering some major injuries this year. Matthew Stafford is only getting older. So is Cooper Cup. And it makes you really question how much of a future is really built in for the Rams. Let's take a look around their team right here. The defense definitely needs some work. The middle linebackers are very rough. You know, they took Jared Verse, though. So they're obviously expecting big things from him as a left outside linebacker. And Brandon Fisk, they're expecting things from him at the left end spot. So first season, we finished seven and ten on their as our record. So not great, but I really wasn't expecting to do all that. I wasn't expecting to make playoffs in the first year. We did start from the original starting point of the season. So already week five. Matthew Stafford on the year finished with three thousand nine hundred four yards, twenty six passing touchdowns, and twelve interceptions. Kyron Williams with 918 yards, 10 rushing touchdowns. Matthew Stafford running the ball quite a bit with 175 yards and no rushing touchdowns, but still 175 yards. I mean, that's pretty impressive. Blake Corum, he got two rushing touchdowns as well. Cooper Cup, 1,200 or 1,326 yards with 14 receiving touchdowns. Tutu Atwell with three receiving touchdowns. Kobe Parkinson with five receiving touchdowns with 524 yards. And then Tyler Johnson as well with the receiving touchdown. Keep in mind, Puka Nakua does have a season-ending injury, so that's why he wasn't up there. Anyway, leaders and tackles for loss, Brandon Fisk, Bry Byron Young. Sacks is Jared Verse, the rookie, then Kobe Turner. They're tied for the lead. Then Brandon Fisk, Byron Young. And then we got Tredavious White, Courtney Lake, Omir Spirits, Cameron Kitchens, John Johnson, and Jared or Jared Verse didn't get a pick. But anyway, these are the people we're going to be losing in free agency. We're going to be losing John Johnson. And I like John Johnson, honestly. He's a pretty solid safety, but his interest wasn't that high. And plus, we're trying to save a little bit. Rob Havenstein, I'm kind of sad to see him go. We kind of, I would like to keep him. He's a really solid right tackle, but he's a little older and he has like no interest in him resigning with us. So, yeah, these are the people we're leaving I, that are leaving us. I don't really see any huge losses, but. It would be nice to keep Rob Havenstein. Anyway, this is the free agent signings that we are doing. We are signing Justin Simmons on oh, not that bad of a deal. I mean, I he is 31 years old. I know he's going to be a little bit older, but hopefully we are starting to make playoffs within three years. I mean, we definitely should be able to. But anyway, we signed Devin Duvernay to help kind of replace Tutu Atwell's absence. And then Puna Ford just to get a little bit more depth at defensive tackle. I feel like these signings will definitely help us all together as a team. And Justin Simmons, he is a pretty big name. I mean, 87 overall. Anyway, this is who I drafted. And I didn't take a quarterback this year. Okay, so I know the Rams are obviously going to be taking a quarterback either this year or next year. I decided to wait. All the really good quarterbacks were taken. So I took Will Campbell. Will Campbell is supposed to be an absolute stud left tackle. The Rams need some help on the O-line too. So then we got a third round tight end and then we got a quarterback and then I took a quarterback in the sixth round just in case, you know, because Matt Stafford's getting old. But yeah, Will Campbell, I just want to show you guys, he started off a, the left tackle at LSU. He starts off as an 80 overall and he had superstar development. Just wanted to show you guys that real quick that he had superstar development. But yes, so didn't take a quarterback this year. Definitely will be taking one next year. We finished seven and 10. So we didn't make playoffs yet again, but it's all right. I mean, it is a rebuild, and this is just the very start of it. So let's go ahead and check out the season stats. Matthew Stafford probably is last year being a starter or in the league. 4,000 yards, 31 passing touchdowns, six interceptions. That's actually an amazing year for Matt Stafford. Uh, the sixth-round quarterback, we took two passing touchdowns, five interceptions. Oh, my God, that is horrible. But, yeah, Matthew Stafford, that's honestly amazing numbers, If but... You know, he's so old, it, like, I guarantee next year Madden he'll do terrible for no reason because Madden's so unpredictable. But we barely ran the ball this year. I mean, look at it. Kevin Williams, 399 yards, four rushing touchdowns. 
Uh, Blake Corbin with four rushing touchdowns. Matthew Stafford with four rushing touchdowns. Then Cody Schneider with four rushing touchdowns. Everyone had four rushing touchdowns. Cooper Cup went crazy with 1,751 yards, 21 passing touchdowns. And then Puka Nakua, 782 yards with three passing or three receiving touchdowns. Devin Duvernay got four receiving touchdowns off 718 yards. Quintez Sifis, he got three receiving touchdowns. So tackles, Omir Spites. Then we got Darius Williams. Tackles for loss, Jared Verse, Brandon Fisk, Byron Young, Kobe Turner, Bobby Brown the third, Omir Spites. Then sacks, we got Kobe Turner, Brandon Fisk. And Byron Young, DeAndre Kendrick, and then interceptions. The leader is Justin Simmons with three, then DeAndre Kendrick, and then Quentin Lake, and then Cameron Curl and Darius Williams. Travis White, we're able to get one. Travis White, we're going to let him walk. He has really no interest in resigning. He's regressing anyway, and he's old. So, I mean, really, it's whatever. Puna Ford, he kind of, we're going to let him go as well. Kobe Parkinson, we're going to let him go. We're losing a few people, but not anyone major. This is who we signed. Romeo Dobbs, so we're getting a little bit more help at receiver as well. Jordan Davis, we're going to actually get a good defensive tackle who will stay there a little bit. Although Jordan Davis is only a 79 overall, which I was a little shocked to see. I thought he'd be a little higher. But anyway, then we got Kenneth Murray. Help find the help with the middle linebackers. We definitely need some big time help with middle linebacker. Then receiver again, we got Calvin Austin. So I wanted to address that because I know Cooper Cup is going to be getting old and he will retire sometime soon. So just wanted to get some help now because I promise you we are spending this first round pick on a quarterback. This is the trade we did. Stenson Bennett, Johnson, Jordan Winnington, a first rounder, a third round pick, and a fifth round pick to move up. Uh, it doesn't say the total spots we moved up, but I'm telling you right now we moved up eight spots and we drafted a third overall. So we had the 11th pick. But anyway, we took James Carter. This is an auto-generated class. The first one was not, obviously. But after that, I do. it's an auto-generated since you really don't know the people that well. Uh, no one really does. So, I mean, I know you could probably name a few players, but it's so unpredictable anyway. Anyway, James Carter, he looks really good. at 75 overall. Wish he was a little bit higher to start, but that's whatever. Just wanted to give you guys a little bit of the new look offense or the new look of a team, I guess, since this is where the rebuild's going to start. We're going to start with James Carter, hopefully, or James Carter. Hopefully, he it turns into a stud. Anyway, receiver room, Puka Nakua, Cooper Cup, Romeo Dobbs, Devin Duvernay, Calvin Austin. Pretty pretty solid receiver room, if you ask me. And we got a bunch of people down there, so I might have overspent a little bit on receivers, but it is all right because we still have a good amount of cap space. Took the tight end we just took. Two years ago, we got Will Campbell left tackle. Pretty good on left guard. We're doing all right at center. Kevin Dotson, he is a he is a stud. I, that is one of the linemen I do like from the Rams quite a bit. Left end, we got Brandon Fisk. Kobe Turner at right end. Looking pretty solid. Younger pieces. Jordan Davis, he should be all right. Jared Verse, he's already up to an 86 overall at left outside linebacker. Middle linebacker, we got Kenneth Murray Jr. We got Byron Young. And we got Darius Williams, Kobe Durant, Cameron Presley. So we could use a little bit more help at cornerback. I will say that our number one should not be a 79. That's a little scary. We do got Justin Simmons at free safety. And then we got Cameron Curl. So I went ahead and made this trade. We are sending Kobe Durant and a third round pick to the New York Jets. And they're giving us Michael Carter the second. Michael Carter an 81 overall. Says he fits our scheme pretty well. And he's kind of younger, and I just like him in general, so I feel like he'll be a nice nice addition. And then we got Tyree Wolin because we're going to need a superstar at corner, and it's not like we can draft one because we just the draft just happened. So we're getting rid of Darius Williams, Quintez uh, Cephas, a fourth-round pick for Tyree Wolin and a few other picks. We went 5-2 and two this year, so not looking great, but hopefully better years are to come. First year of the rookie quarterback starting. So let's go ahead and see how we did. I'm pretty interested to see our first year without Matthew Stafford. Um, 4,009 yard passing yards, 36 passing touchdowns, 20 interceptions, a lot of interceptions. Very high amount of passing touchdowns, though. And a good amount of passing yards. Kyron Williams, 740 yards with five rushing touchdowns. James Carter, he ran the ball quite a bit. 
uh, with, he only got a, one rushing touchdown though, but he got 333 rushing yards. Puka Nakua, 1,580 yards with 17 receiving touchdowns. Romeo Dobbs, 884 yards with seven receiving touchdowns. Cooper Cope, 734 yards with five receiving touchdowns. Kenneth Murray, I was a little worried about him, you know, being only 79 overall at middle linebacker, but he's leading the team in tackles. Tackles for losses, Brandon Fisk with more than double, or around double. Sacks was Brandon Fisk as well, and then interceptions, Tyree Wolin, Kenneth Murray as well. Kenneth Murray did really good for being a 79 overall. Kevin Dotson is not interested, and I'm sad because I wanted to keep him on the team, but as all right, we will... We will overcome. We're going to be losing Cooper Cup as well. I mean, he's just, he's regressed so much and he's old. And even if we wanted to bring him back, he'd be a little bit of money. Matthew Stafford is also leaving the team as well. So any Rams fans watching, I'm sure they're sad to see the core leaving. You know, it was an amazing core and it brought him a Super Bowl. But unfortunately, three years down the road, uh, age starts to hit him quite a bit. Anyway, free agency, we got Wyatt Teller, Brandon Steffens. Then we got Jordan Fuller, and then we also got Cole Strange for left guard. So we got a left and right guard, then we got a cornerback, and then we got a free safety. You know, I think this should help. I mean, both of those guards are probably going to start right off the bat. I mean, they're kind of high overalls. Anyway, this is the draft. We got a right end in pool. Then we got Cartwright as a left guard. So... E- I mean, they're going to look at who was supposed to be better at left guard and start them. Anyway, left we got a left end, and then we got a running back, and then we got a tight end in the seventh round. So the main spot of this is the, probably going to be the left guard, if I'm being honest. The left guard, he I mean, he is he is projected to be pretty good. And we finish 8-9, and nine, so we kind of need to start to turn it around pretty quick here. I mean... We haven't even really came that close to a playoff appearance yet. Let's go and see how the, well, not the rookie anymore, but the second year man, James Carter, is doing. It seems like a pretty good year. 3,947 passing yards, 33 passing touchdowns with 10 interceptions. That I don't think that's that bad of a year. Kyron Williams with over 1,000 rushing yards, uh, seven rushing touchdowns. James Carter ran the ball, and he got two rushing touchdowns, 300 66 yards, Blake Corum with a rushing touchdown. Puka Nakua even ran the ball nine times for 44 yards. And Puka Nakua, obviously the leading receiver, not, not that shocking there. 17 receiving touchdowns and Kevin Austin with four receiving touchdowns. And Romeo Dobbs, six receiving touchdowns, 829 yards for Romeo Dobbs. And then Rashawn Samuels. The tight end was able to get a few amount of touchdowns as well. Leading again in tackles is Kenneth Murray. The tackles for loss is Brandon Fisk again. Jordan Verse is up there as well. Sacks is Brandon Fisk and Kobe Turner. And then we got Jared Verse. And then interceptions is Jordan Fuller, Tyreek Wolin. So this is the free agency for this year. Well, we didn't lose that many people. So, I I, I mean, they were kind of like no names everyone we lost. So, didn't want to, no point of showing it, but anyway, we got Arnold at the quarterback and 87 overall. We got Brian Thomas. You know, he's been looking pretty good for the Jags so far. He's an 86 overall now. Xavier McKinney, very good. And then we got Keandre Miller for running back. And then we took, we're going to be taking JoJo Brennan at right tackle. And then we also got a halfback of Church. Then we got German as a tight end. And then we got Duncan as strong safety and then we got a left tackle as well so the main part of this is that we really needed a right tackle so we only got it we didn't really need running back all the well but it was really good value in just in case Keandre Miller does kind of play not great we got a pretty high value young running back ready to take the spot I'm gonna go ahead and trade Cole Strange and we're gonna start that rookie left guard that I took two years ago his potential is just a lot higher and we're gonna go for Quay Walker because we need right outside linebacker help. So this is the first year we're making playoffs. In the 2028 season, we are making playoffs against the San Francisco 49ers. We have a 10-7 and record. 49ers are 13-4. and So let's go and see the season stats before we go ahead and sim. 36 passing touchdowns 
4,388 yards, 71 completion percentage, 14 interceptions though, 1,125 rushing yards for Kyron Williams, 9 rushing touchdowns, James Carter, 308 yards, and 4 rushing touchdowns. Gardner Miller did all right uh, with 3 rushing touchdowns. Puka Nakua, 1,573 yards, 16 rushing touchdowns. I swear Puka Nakua is always having at least 15 receiving touchdowns. Brian Thomas, 3 receiving touchdowns. Romeo Dobbs, 10. 974 yards for Brian Thomas, 940 for Romeo Dobbs. Let's go and check the defense. Kenneth Murray again leading in tackles. And the tackles for loss is Brandon Frisk again. And then sacks is Jared Verse. All right, Jared Verse is finally starting to play like how he is projected to 14 and a half sacks. We got Arnold with three or three interceptions. Xavier McKinley with two interceptions. And we lose in the first round to the San Francisco 49ers. So we're the seventh seed. They were the second. I mean, it's not all that surprising. It does suck. But let's go in and see how this happened. Let's go ahead and check out the stats. So Brock Purdy, he had a rating of 144, and he had three passing touchdowns, zero interceptions, and a completion percentage of 78. So it looks like Brock Purdy just went off. Kyron Williams got a rushing touchdown, and he averaged 6.5 yards per carry. Oh, my God. So... John Menchie torched us in a playoff game, apparently, with four receptions, 100 yards, and two touchdowns. Puka Nakua, 72 yards. He got a touchdown as well. And then Brian Thomas got a touchdown, but he only had three catches for 26 yards. Leading in tackles for the game, Kenneth Murray. And then tackles for loss, Kobe Turner. And then a sack, Kobe Turner got it. And then no one got an interception. So that is... How it looked for our first year making playoffs. I'm happy we even made it. These are some of the people we are losing. We're going to be losing Jordan Fuller, Kenneth Murray. Um, we're also losing Tyree Woolen, which is which is a rough rough loss. I don't want to lose Tyree Woolen at all. But anyway, we're going to sign Tredavia, or Travis Ward, Jeff Mc, McCain, and Will Levis for a backup quarterback to James Carter. Will Levis wasn't even that expensive, and he's a 77 overall. And, you know, 77 overall, he, that can start for some teams. So pretty solid backup there, and I like how we got some quarterbacks because we're definitely going to need it with three Woolen gone. So now we're in the 2029 season, and we make playoffs again for the second straight year. We finished 12-5, and and we're facing the Carolina Panthers in the wild card round. So let's go ahead and check the season stats before we go ahead and sim the playoffs, James Carter, 45 passing touchdowns and only two interceptions with 75 completion percentage, 4,518 yards. Yeah, that's pretty unrealistic. I don't think any quarterback could ever do that. And that is definitely just Madden video game numbers. I don't even under, I don't even know how that's possible. Anyway, Kyron Williams, 1,030, 38 yard rushing yards. Puka Nakua, 1,504. Yards, 20 receiving touchdowns for Puka Nakua. Brian Thomas, 6 receiving touchdowns with 944 yards. Thomas Hanna, so the new middle linebacker, filling in for Kenneth Murray, is leader in tackles, 89 tackles. Tackles for lost Jared Verse, and then Brandon Fisk with 17.5 sacks, and then Kobe Turner with 14.5 interceptions. We got Arnold with 5, Michael Carter with 3 and we are first round exits again. This time we were this time we were the second seed, and we were facing the seventh, and we lost to the or no 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 we advanced, but we went to the second round, and then we got blown out to the Vikings. So excuse me, we did make it to the second round, but we lost to the third seed, the Minnesota Vikings, forty one to twenty six. So these are all the people we're going to be losing. Kyron Williams, 77 overall, he's starting to regress. We're going to get rid of him. Romeo Dobbs, he's interested, but I don't really know if we can afford him. Xavier McKinney, I would like to have McKinney back, but he is at the age 32. And again, I don't really know if we can afford him. Money is starting to get a little bit tight. Um, we got defensive tackle, Geo Dunn, in the draft. And then we got a receiver, Alfonso Bean. That's an amazing auto-generated name, but yeah. Anyway, we got a we drafted a middle linebacker, and then we got a tight end, a receiver, and a center. So we finished thirteen and four. So this is our first time being first round buys. I mean, three straight years making the playoffs. So that's pretty impressive. We're actually starting to make some of the run. The rebuild is starting to happen. 
I would say they are definitely rebuilt because they are now a good team. Let's go see if we can rebuild them and make them a championship team, though. All right, so James Carter with 4,673 yards, 31 passing touchdowns, only five interceptions. George Church with nine rushing touchdowns with 825 yards. James Carter, 428 yards and six rushing touchdowns. Puka Nakua, 1,670 yards with 15 receiving touchdowns. Brian Thomas with two receiving touchdowns with 1,050 yards. Thomas Hanna, again, leader in tackles with 95. Then Randall Duncan with 75. Then Jared First with 69. Let's go ahead to the tackles for loss. Brandon Frisk again. Brandon Frisk is just amazing in the run support. And he's also amazing in the pass rush because he just led in the sacks. And then Randall Duncan with the interceptions. Then Jeff McCain. Then we got Arnold with one. All right, so... We were able to make it to the second round. I mean, obviously, we had the first round by, but the second round, again, we lose to the Chicago Bears. So, again, we make it to the second round, and we lose. So, we need to get rid of being a playoff choker. We need to get rid of choking in the playoffs because this is starting to get a little bit old because this team is good. This is by far the best the team has ever became, but not everybody's going to want to stay. Each year we keep choking is it each year Everybody is getting older. So we drafted a center in the first round. Uh, We got Isaiah White, and then we got uh, Joseph Gray, Ben Overton, Daniel Townsend. Uh, We got Will Chamberlain. (laughs) Okay. I mean, that looks a lot like Will Chamberlain. But anyway, we need a strong safety, so we go ahead and we trade a third, a second, and a sixth overall for Jordan Battle. Jordan Battle, strong safety for the Cincinnati Bengals. So we are just trying to get a little bit of depth. He's an 81 overall. Can't go wrong with an 81. If you're at least an 80 or above, I mean, you're pretty solid in my eyes. So anyway, we make playoffs again. This is the fourth straight year of making playoffs. So again, they're definitely a good team, but we're going to try to see if they're a championship team. And 4,606 yards for James Carter. 43 passing touchdowns and five interceptions. So an amazing year. George Church, 823 yards and five rushing touchdowns. James Carter, 504 yards with three rushing touchdowns. Daniel Soundseed, three rushing touchdowns. Puka Nakua, 1,768 yards, 17 receiving touchdowns. I swear, Puka Nakua is going to break the all-time receiving touchdown record. Brian Thomas with 10 receiving touchdowns. Thomas, er, Thomas Hanna, Leading the league or leading the Rams with the tackles of the 88. Brandon Fisk leading with sacks, but only 7.5. That's a little bit of a low amount. We did lose Jared Verse in this upcoming year. So we lose to the Chicago Bears again. This time in the first round, we were the sixth seed and we lost. So Caleb Williams, oh my God, Caleb Williams put up six passing touchdowns against us. So that is some weak defense. You cannot let. Them score six touchdowns in general, but just passing, oh my god, uh, that that is really bad. And they got one rushing, of course. They got only Gordon, you know, a really good college running back. Uh, let's go and see if we really did anything. I highly doubt it. it. Looks like we got we got messed up. I mean, our offense wasn't horrible, but their offense was a hundred times better. Puka Naku receiving touchdown. Cole Komet two receiving touchdowns. Brian Thomas got a receiving touchdown. Let's go check the defense. Looks like there wasn't much defense on our side of the ball at all. Tackles for loss. Sacks. Oh, we did get two sacks somehow. I mean, I mean, by the look of the score, you would just think our defense didn't even show up to play. Anyway, that is the end of the rebuild because James Carter is not interested in resigning, and that is basically half of our franchise right there. We already lost Jared Verse. These are the Super Bowl winners. If you guys are interested, I'm sorry. I know... Every rebut I've done so far in Madden 25, we have not been able to get uh we've not been able to get a Super Bowl in every single rebuild so far. But we've only done three. We are still many rebuilds away, and I promise you guys there is going to be one where I win the Super Bowl soon. Dallas Cowboys win in 2020 or 2027, then the Commanders won in 2026. The 2025 season recap, Dak Prescott is the Super Bowl MVP, and he beats Tua Tagovailoa and the Miami Dolphins. Baltimore Ravens beat the Eagles. 
Ooh, that's a pretty interesting Super Bowl matchup. But anyway, I promise, guys, soon we will be winning a Super Bowl. I can't do anything about it. Like, that is just bad, bad luck. Bad luck. The Rams choke so bad in the playoffs. Anyway, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe for more content. If you guys are interested in these kind of videos or football in general, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Put those post notifications on. All right, guys. Bye.